Good afternoon, my friends, and hello from SeaWorld Orlando. So, I have really been enjoying SeaWorld lately. I just recently became a past member once again because the family loves coming here. The value is great. The perks are fantastic. You get things like free preferred parking, free guest tickets, free quick queues, and so many more discounts. And I can really tell that SeaWorld Orlando is trying to make big changes here. They continue to bring new and exciting things to their park and they're building a on-site hotel right now, which is going to be huge for this park. And you know, they still have a few things that they need to work out like operations, but today I'm going to be doing a deep dive to show you why I think it's worth visiting SeaWorld right now. And I got a ride pipeline. I still have not been on this coaster. It's the newest coaster here at SeaWorld Orlando. I'm actually going to get that done first. Let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, and here we are about to head inside of the park. I did want to mention it is a gorgeous day outside here in Central Florida. As a past member, as soon as you make it past security, I always head over here towards the self-service ticketing kiosk to see what type of rewards I have for the month. Pipeline is running today, yes. So for my monthly rewards, I got $10 in SeaWorld bucks that I can pretty much use for whatever I want inside of the park and also I got a free sea lion feeding. By the way, right now SeaWorld Orlando is celebrating 60 years. And then you also have a past member lounge check-in area right here and this is also where you would go if you purchase a VIP tour. So this is actually a entrance if you are a platinum past member like I am. You have team members here that will help you if you have any questions. And look at that, I am now inside of the park. I like how as soon as you enter the park, they have the height check ready to go for the kiddos. They have some fun photo opportunities around the park to celebrate 60 years. Oh wow, the entire front here is all decorated for the 60th. If you need coffee, they have you covered with Coaster Coffee, proudly serving Starbucks. Also, there's Pipeline. I think another reason why I do enjoy SeaWorld so much is because I got to visit SeaWorld so much as a kid so it holds a place of nostalgia for me i can't tell you how many times my family brought me to sea world san antonio you sometimes forget that you do have a sea world here right next door to universal and disney and i'm just so happy that this company is making changes as a theme park enthusiast it's a breath of fresh air whoa Well, that was neat. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was awesome! The Seven Seas Food Festival is still running through May 19th, so you still have some time. However, it's not running today because it only happens Thursdays through Sundays, and I personally think this is the best food festival here at any of the Central Florida theme parks. Like I said, I am heading over towards Pipeline for my very first ride, hopefully, on this coaster. And then over this way, we can see another new coaster here at SeaWorld, Icebreaker. Okay, Pipeline only has a 15 minute wait. I'm going to go ahead and put my bag inside of a locker. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for lockers here. It is what it is. If you want a locker for the entire day, it's going to cost you $10 and you can move it around the park. That was not a long wait at all. There is a longer wait for the front and the back row. So I'm gonna have my first ride right in the middle. I did want to mention this is a standing coaster. A little tip for you, if you don't want to purchase a locker at just about every single ride here at SeaWorld, they do have little cubbies where you can put your belongings in. However, you are taking a gamble and a risk if you leave your belongings unintended. This is so crazy to me that I'm standing up and I'm about to ride a coaster and I can go up and down. This is wild. I am in row number seven and away we go. I'm finally riding Pipeline. <laughs> it only took me about three visits. This is so crazy that I'm standing up. 
Pretty gnarly. I got so much airtime. The track is so smooth, buttery. I wish it was longer, but that is a fantastic coaster. I'm impressed. That was so much fun. Don't miss this coaster during your visit. This is something for the most part the entire family would enjoy. And that's something else that I like that SeaWorld is doing as they're building so many coasters. They're making more coasters for the entire family to enjoy. And don't get me wrong, there's still some very intense, thrilling coasters here like Manta and Mako, but Pipeline and Icebreaker and then Penguin Trek, which is set to open later this summer, is made more for the entire family. But I really, really enjoyed Pipeline. If you were curious, this is what the ride seat looks like on Pipeline. I am noticing a lot of executives and leaders and managers walking around the park today. And I do have to be honest here, a big common complaint from me and also a lot of people about SeaWorld was the leadership, how this park needs better leadership. I have noticed they have brought some new people to the company and as I've said, I'm really starting to notice it as I'm walking around the park and it's just really nice to see and hopefully they can keep it up and make this park into something special and I believe it will one day. This isn't a huge park. Yes, you can definitely make an all day adventure out of SeaWorld Orlando because not only do you have some of the best coasters here at this park in the state of Florida, you also have a lot of animal exhibits and I will briefly discuss another topic about the animals here at SeaWorld. We'll save that for in just a little bit but you also have food options here, you have different upgrades that you can do and then like I mentioned they are in the process of building a on-site hotel. I guess since I'm already right here let's go ahead and discuss it and that has to do with the Orca Encounter which has just been updated. Now, I'm sure many of you remember the movie that came out a while ago that had to do with what SeaWorld was doing to the orcas. I'm not going to get into it because it's just not my place. I come to SeaWorld nowadays to enjoy the theme park side of it. I know some of you may not agree with that statement, but at the end of the day, this is kind of my job to come to these theme parks to keep you guys updated. And I do enjoy coming to SeaWorld, like I said at the beginning of this video. I do think if SeaWorld was to remove the Orca counter, let's just say they remove it and they build a massive dark ride in its place, because let's be honest, a lot of people enjoy dark rides. I think this park has enough coasters. Of course, you can continue to add more coasters. There's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like if this park was to add a huge dark ride that would draw even more people to this park, especially if you got rid of the Orca encounter. I feel like more people would move past that movie. That's why I don't enjoy the Orca encounter when I come here. I stay away from it. This is honestly the closest I've gotten to it in years. I don't really come here to enjoy the animals. I mean, that's a big perk of coming here to the park you get to enjoy rides and animals but I feel like if SeaWorld as a whole the entire company was to move past the orcas and the animals and they concentrate more on just the theme park side of SeaWorld I feel like they could win a lot of people back 
to this park. And I would love to know what you guys think about what I just talked about down below in the comment section. I'm pretty curious. Do you agree, disagree, or are you just staying away from SeaWorld? Let me know. And I guess since I've gotten older, I just look at life completely different. I have learned to let things go that just don't need to take up space in my head, don't need to take up real estate and energy. I've just kind of learned to move past things and they were very wrong. And that's why a lot of people stopped coming, including myself. But nowadays, I just look at this company as a theme park and I really do believe if SeaWorld moves past the orcas and continues to slowly move past all of the animal encounters and exhibits and if they really just move towards a family theme park with fun attractions good entertainment and good food like i know SeaWorld does currently have i think this is a place where you need to visit i mean i'm already having so much fun here when i come to this park and i think you're going to have a great time as well you don't even have to be a pass holder just come here as a day guest and enjoy everything that this park has to offer. And I think if SeaWorld does that, they're gonna make a lot of money in the future. We'll see though. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Let's continue on with our day and let me show you why this park is worth visiting on your next Orlando vacation. Yikes, Icebreaker is currently sitting at a 50 minute wait. And there it goes. I'm about to walk through Sesame Street land, which is an area of the park that is dedicated to the kiddos. They have smaller attractions. They have a pretty big splash area. They have carnival games, character meet and greets, merchandise, some food trucks over here. It's a pretty good time as they're celebrating their fifth birthday currently here. Something that is a lot of fun for the kiddos. They offer story time with Big Bird. Here are the show times. Big Bird will come out here. He will have a story time where the kids can sit down and enjoy a story. And then at the end, you will have a character meet and greet where you can grab your photos with Big Bird. Oh, and they offer a parade here inside of Sesame Street Land. There's Cookie Monster out having a meet and greet. This is where you can find Elmo as well. Ooh, I can see a few props back here for Hallow Screen, which is their Halloween event. There's usually a house right here outside of Sesame Street. There's the carousel. And then over this way, you can find Infinity Falls. Walking by Dockside Pizza Company, which is a new quick service location. And I will say this place is packed. I'm not in the mood for pizza right now, or I would go check it out but from the looks of it, it seems like a pretty good food location. I thought I smelled coffee right across from Dockside Pizza Company. They have added a new Coaster Coffee Company Express window. So now you don't have to walk all the way to the front of the park if you wanna grab some coffee. Here's a look at Infinity Falls and you will get soaked on this water attraction. There's the lift hill and the big drop, and you just get soaked. Look at that. If you need another good option for lunch, don't miss Waterway Grill, and this is located right on the back side of the front entrance for Infinity Falls. Another thing that I really like that SeaWorld offers, you can purchase an upgrade, which is the all-day dining deal that allows you to eat every 90 minutes, and it includes a main entree, a drink, non-alcoholic, and one side or dessert every 90 minutes. I want to say the price for this is around $40 per person. The air conditioning feels wonderful in here. They do have a full service bar. And then over here, that's where you can order and pick up your food. And then they have a ton of places to sit to enjoy your lunch. Also, they have a fuel rod kiosk here. I was just thinking, what did I want to buy with my free $10 reward SeaWorld bucks? I think that's what they call it. I'm not hungry, but I would like to find a croissant because I just watched Sophia Nygaard's newest video where she made croissants and I've been craving one, so hopefully I can find one 
here around the park. The park is actually pretty busy today. Mako is sitting at a 30 minute standby wait. Usually this is always at like a five or 10. Check out these SeaWorld lounge fly backpacks. This is the first time I am seeing a lounge fly here inside of SeaWorld. I would like to possibly come back in the future and try Shark's underwater grill where you dine while sharks are swimming all around you. Have any of you tried out this restaurant? Let me know, was it good, was it bad? I'm curious. I am now heading over to try to see if my voucher will work to feed the sea lions, but this is my first look at Penguin Trek, which is opening sometime this summer. This is going to be both an indoor and an outdoor coaster. This looks awesome. I like the color that they decided to go with. You can see a little bit inside. Looks like they're still working pretty hard on getting this coaster going. I remember this pathway. I would go this way for the penguin encounter that would be right here and that's where the coaster is taking over, at least for the indoor portion in the queue. And then you have this outdoor portion there's Manta back there. I got a little closer. It does look like that they still have quite a bit of work to do, at least in the indoor section. I found another angle. Hmm. I wonder when this is going to open. I feel like this is a little behind. I don't even think they have started ride vehicle testing just yet. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but I don't believe I've seen anything. Oh my goodness, look at the sea lions. I always think to myself when I see sea lions back to Finding Dory. Off, off, off. Oh dear. Oh, they have food over here. Okay, I'm going to go right over here where it says seal and sea lion food. And I'm going to redeem my reward. Ooh, this is uh, smelly. Normally this would be $8, but this was free. I'm sure they're going to go nuts. Uh oh, this one already can see. Uh oh. You guys want some? Come on over here. Oh, they know. Uh oh. All right, All right. I'm just going to throw them. Here you go. Uh oh. Here, here. Oh. oh no, not the birds. Man, those birds are reckless. Jeez. This one got one of my fish. I guess I could have threw it better. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bianca, for putting this inside of my theme park bag. What I'm trying to say, not only as a pass holder, but as just a day guest, you pay a lot of money to come to these theme parks and you want to feel value. You want to feel like you're getting your money's worth. You want you and your family to have a great time. This is a smaller theme park but I like it because as a pass holder, you get little touches like feed the sea lions for free, one quick queue per visit, 30% off Discovery Cove, and so many other things. I also think I get a free Hollow Scream ticket, or at least I did in the past. I feel like I'm getting great value here at SeaWorld. And for the day guest, always check online because SeaWorld will always run promotions and discounts on day tickets and it's something to do if you want to extend your Orlando vacation if you want to save a bit of money this is the place for you there goes Manta coming up on journey to Atlantis which is a indoor and outdoor water attraction passing by Kraken and it only has a five minute standby wait yeah let's go for a ride this is a straight walk on and away we go Back row. Here we go. Yeah. 
like that corkscrew at the end. Yep. Ah! You really feel it in the back. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Pretty intense in the back, but that was fantastic. Just got off cracking, that was a lot of fun. Pretty intense, I feel like that could be just because I was in the back row, but that was a blast. This is part of the indoor portion of Penguin Trek. Over at Manta, it is sitting at a 25 minute standby wait. And there it goes. This one's so much fun. Passing by the manatees that SeaWorld has rescued and SeaWorld has the largest rescue center. Media, just by talking about these amazing animals, we can make a really big difference. I just learned as of 1 p.m. today, SeaWorld has rescued 27 manatees. Okay, before I leave the park, I am on a mission to try to find a croissant. I'm gonna check inside of the sweet store. If not, I'm going to go over here to Coaster Coffee Company. No croissants in here, but they do have quite the sweet collection. Look at this mango marble cake for the anniversary. Holy moly, a ton of fudge. Look at these cookies. My goodness, and these cupcakes. They have muffins and different cookies. Oh, this confetti. The cookie looks so good. Ooh, and they have s'mores. I'm now inside of Coaster Coffee. Look at all of these donuts. Maple bacon. Jeez, Fruity Pebbles? I would come here in the morning. I did it. I found a croissant. This is what the croissant is looking like. It's soft, it's fresh, looks very flaky and buttery. Let's give it a try. I also got a smart water with my $10 free reward. Thanks SeaWorld. Oh man, that was so good. That was my craving. I feel like bread is just a sin <laughs> when you're dieting it's just so hard not to enjoy bread because it's just good with everything you can eat bread on its own especially croissants they're so buttery and airy and flaky they're heaven i really enjoy that i down my water because it is very hot here in central florida but i think that's going to do it for today's video i had a fun day here at SeaWorld Orlando. I hope I was able to show you why I think it's worth visiting. You know, if you need something to do, if you wanna save a little bit of money and still have a fun day at a Orlando theme park, give SeaWorld a shot. I think they deserve it. And if they continue to improve and bring new things to this park, and again, let the orcas go, let not all animals, but start phasing out the animal encounters and the different exhibits and if they focus on the food offerings because they are already so good with their food festivals and just the food around the park if they bring more coasters bring more dark rides because people love dark rides and this park needs a e-ticket dark ride attraction i think if you remove the orca encounter and just build a fantastic dark ride in its place that could win more people back to this park and just focus more on family fun and if SeaWorld does that as well as continue to fix leadership and continue to fix the park operations even though the park operations seem to be working really well today I think the common complaint here at SeaWorld is when the park doesn't run multiple trains at once. Usually they'll just have one train on the track and that can cause the line to be backed up. But if they continue to run multiple trains at once and they speed up the wait time, I think that's going to win more people back to SeaWorld. And we'll see what happens. I do really enjoy this park. I love it. I recommend it. I think it's worth it in 2024. Again, I think this park has great value. And now that I'm a past member once again, I'll be coming back to make even more content. And even when I'm not recording, we'll come here as a family and just ride a few rides, have dinner, 
look at some animals and go about our day. I think this place is fantastic for the entire family. Let me know down in the comments below, are you planning a day trip here to SeaWorld Orlando or are you going to continue to stay away? But let me ask you this, if that's your answer, what would you want SeaWorld to bring to the park or what would you like to see SeaWorld get rid of in order for you to return? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Ooh.